You have dreamt of this exact moment when you will take the oath to be a healer for 8 billion people on this planet and make your parents proud. Starting as a med student, you have sacrificed a lot and now finally it is time to wear that white doctor's coat and change your Instagram name to Dr. Anirudh. I'm just kidding, okay? That's cringe. Don't do all that. But today, as a responsible senior who has seen five and a half years of MBBS, I'm going to share with you the lesson known tricks to survive first year of MBBS, how you can easily pass your MBBS exams, how you can manage your hobbies along with your studies, and how you can get closer to earning this 8,000 rupee Litwin stethoscope. And remember, don't buy this Litwin stethoscope in first year. It has to be earned by you, a gift from your parents, after you pass final year of MBBS. So let's begin. So let me tell you a short story over here. On the day of my ragging session, the seniors called it the freshers party. I was told to dance on Nicki Minaj's Anaconda. And if you know, it's a very vulgar performance. And like, and who wants to do that in front of your dean and the professors? I was so damn anxious, you know, being a topper in NEET and then having your entire basity done on the first day of MBBS. Who wants to have such a reputation of performing a vulgar dance on stage, man? That time, Dr. Joe came, who was working as a resident in ENT, and he told me, you know, just go on stage, no one's gonna judge you, just be yourself and enjoy yourself. I was given a dead skeleton, the femur. It's the largest bone in the human body. And I did go on the stage and shook my butt and did a kick up. And you know, surprisingly, it was a huge hit. The entire auditorium erupted. Everybody was congratulating me and I made it to the finals of the freshers. I became an instant hero in my college and that is the first lesson. Ragging is the price you pay to bond with your seniors. These are the same seniors who will give you the most horrific tasks for the ragging. But at the same time, during the exam days, they will make you Maggie, they will make you coffee. They will tell you what type of questions come in the exam, which questions are specific to one particular professor. Like many professors have their own favorite topics, own favorite questions. You will come to know all this insider information about your college only when you talk to your seniors. They will tell you how to explore the new city that you are going to, how to have a very fulfilling hostel life. And this bond even helps you during your internship because when you become an intern, they will be your residents. A very common made by the bachas who join in first year of MBBS is this phenomenon called a post neat hangover, which is basically that they don't want to study anything once they're in MBBS because some person, some person, okay, in 11th and 12th, some coaching professor told them, Ki bro, just join MBBS, uske baad ashi ashi. Life is set. You know, it so happened during the university exams that so many students had a mental breakdown. They did not know what to study. They had to somehow force feed this thick fat book one day before the exam into their brains and they could not do it. I know of several toppers who failed in the first year of MBBS. While those memories are very laughable now, but the trauma that they went through during those days, I don't want you to have that. And I don't want to delay you from changing your Instagram bio to Dr. Anirudh Bhatt. Remember earlier I told you that I will tell you a secret to pass MBBS? And the secret is to study every day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You must have heard about this from a lot of seniors. Study every day and you'll pass MBBS. But it is more important than you think. See, in finals week, okay, it's going to be a two-week finals week where you'll have practicals and theory. You should know exactly what to study. Because MBBS, if you see in the books, those are thick, fat books. Not everything is important from the exam perspective. To know what to study in the final week of med school, you need to study on a daily basis only two hours a day. Not more, not less. Two hours a day of daily study. Take the exam topics from your seniors. Take the short note list from your seniors and go through each and every single important topic and mark it in your book. Just doing this every day and giving it a light read is more than enough. Because anyways, for finals, you'll be studying for 15, 16 hours a day, surviving on four hours of sleep. You'll be having four or five cups of coffee. You'll be ordering on Zomato and Swiggy and your seniors will make you Maggie. Oh my God, there are so many things that are left for you to explore. But if you want to preserve your mental health and if you want to have a very good exam season and you don't want to have a mental breakdown, you don't want to be anxious about failing study only two hours a day and the rest of the time develop your hobbies if you think medical students are boring i mean just look out of your hostel room there will be people who are cycling playing badminton playing cricket playing football some guys will be going to the gym and trying to build their body there are so many things that medical students do. because you know we are generally intelligent people and intelligent people have talents in multiple areas which we love to explore so please don't think that mbbs is only about studying and studying and studying 15-16 hours a day, it really is not. 
that 15-16 hours of studies only comes in finals week when you really have to buy hard the entire syllabus in that last few hours before the exam. Rest of the time, you can always manage your studies and your hobbies. So please develop your hobbies. Trust me, on those crucial days when you cannot study, these hobbies will be your life savior. So one day as I was walking back from my 12 hours COVID duty that I had to do during the coronavirus pandemic, check out this vlog to know more about that, I noticed two seniors fighting. They were fighting like cats and dogs in the corridor of the hostel and I was so curious and I am a very shameless person so I just went inside the room to know what's happening and oh my god that day I can never forget oh my god immediately they saw a junior to pounce on and I was made to sit on the hot seat and that was the most horrible viva in my entire MBBS in front of my seniors I knew well it was time for me to be ragged again basically it was a roast session and don't worry for this roast session you don't get a pass or fail so it was a good roast session. But incidents like these build a good rapport with your seniors. They told me exactly which are the beautiful beaches to go to, which are the brilliant cafes to go to, restaurants to eat at, and all the small small little hacks about GMC and passing exams and doing so many things around the college, you come to know only from your seniors because they have gone through what you have gone through a year prior. The point being is that don't be shy to talk to anyone and everybody on campus. That one conversation you have with a person could be your next day or you could even start a new hobby. So this reminds me of a very crazy incident where one of my juniors who won the biochemistry quiz, he went to the wine store with his friends, bought a few beers, poured the beer into the cup that he won for the quiz and drank from it. You know, just think about the way of celebration. And yes, you are correct. I am talking about the boys hostel life. And boys hostel is the place where stinky boys from all over India come and gun machate bilkul. They literally put bear grills from man vs wild to shame with their jugadu techniques of survival. Remember this skull that you have to buy from your seniors in order to study the entire anatomy of the skull? Well, one of my seniors put some rice flakes in it and he was holding a cigarette in his hand and he was smoking and he was studying and he was eating the rice. You get to see all the kinds of people in the hostel but it is up to you on whom you're influenced by. Now this is quite scary to someone, you know, and if some parents are watching, I'm really sorry. But it is up to you whether you want to indulge into alcohol or smoking because there are a lot of good influences around. Your professors, your toppers, your friends, you can always cultivate the environment that you want. One fine day when you finally put a doctor in front of your name and you become a big consultant at Apollo or at Fortis or at Max, you will remember these days fondly and that you know, these were the screenshots of your time in MBBS that you will always cherish. You know I fooled you in this video. I was telling you entirely about first year MBBS and how fun it is, how crazy it is, but I didn't share with you how to pass first year of MBBS. Studying first year of MBBS is quite difficult if you don't know what to study from. And so I want to give my subscribers, my hard earned subscribers, a real, real, full, long video about the resources that you should be using in a first year of MBBS, what to study, which books to use, what not to study also is very important. In my next video, I'm going to share a very personal story of my depression in MBBS and how I overcame that handling rejections and how you can build a killer mindset in the first year of MBBS itself so that your MBBS journey and your NEED PG journey and your residency and your entire life becomes a smooth sailing and my three-step formula to help you pass any single exam in MBBS I will share with you in that next video. It takes a lot of effort to script these videos and to earn you as my subscriber. So please subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. So I will see you down in the comment section below if you have any doubts. Till then, stay safe, take care, bye-bye.